my phone was still in airplane mode because I was on vacation. And my wife's phone blew up when we drove through some little town. And I had pulled over to let the dogs go for a walk and hanging out. And my wife started screaming, oh, my God, oh, my God. And I said, what? And she said, you won the Nobel Prize. And I said, no, I didn't. And she said, yes, you did. I have 200 text messages that says you won the Nobel Prize. I'm like, that's unbelievable. Um, but we still didn't have any service at that point. We've known for, for decades that the immune system causes, well, it, its primary function is to keep us healthy from pathogens, viruses, bacteria, et cetera. Um, and, and yet we know that sometimes it goes awry and um, it can result in things like multiple sclerosis or rheumatoid arthritis or Crohn's disease or any number of other autoimmune diseases where your immune system attacks your own tissues. And we've known for a long time, and much of this work actually came from Shimon Sakaguchi's work in the late 80s, early 90s, that there is a small population of immune cells that we all have in our bodies that helps control that. But we didn't understand how. We didn't understand those cells very well because there weren't the tools to really describe those cells very well and to, and to really characterize them. And what Mary's part of the discovery, which is identifying the gene associated with a, a disease in which um, all people affected with this, who have a mutation in this gene, all people and all mice who have a mutation in this gene get rampant autoimmune disease in every tissue. And it's frankly, it's lethal. And, um, and it's clearly the immune system's gone awry. They don't have this small population of cells, which is what we discovered is that this population is just missing in those patients. And so that meant that now we knew what these cells looked like, what they did, how to get a hold of them, and frankly, what controlled their development and their activity. And so now, even 20 years ago, we said, look, if we can harness these cells or the activities of these cells, we can now potentially um, use that to treat people with MS and autoimmune disease, other autoimmune diseases, rheumatoid arthritis, et cetera.